Hey guys, Adrian here for the Digital Dojos. Today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak using the tethered iOS 4.3.5 jailbreak. So this is going to be again for iOS 4.3.5 and again it is a tethered jailbreak. As of current, if you're watching this video when I actually uploaded it, um, today being I believe July 30th, uh, the iOS 4.3.5 jailbreak is only available through a tethered option which means a uh, the iPhone has to be connected to a computer every time you need to uh, if the uh, what do you call it, the battery runs out on the device to be booted back into iOS, it needs to be uh, booted from a computer using the Red Snow program. I'm sure a untethered version will come out soon, but as of right now, the iPhone is depending on the computer with Red Snow to be booted back up if it dies. All right, so with that, let's get into it. What do you need? So first off, obviously you need your iPhone, um, and it's going to be needing to run 4.3.5. I restored mine, as you can see here. Um, right now I have no SIM card installed because I'm having a battery issue where it says I'm stuck at 14% but it's really like 100%. Um, so with that, just keep in mind my SIM card isn't in right now but it doesn't, it doesn't matter and you don't, you can have yours in it, it shouldn't really affect anything. So on the screen here you're going to see that you need, uh, you can follow these steps. I thought uh, this guide really, I just want to show you it on the web browser because it has the download links needed. Um, this is basically the video version. Um, so you can see you have uh, a couple of things installed. So you need iOS 4.3.5 and you need iOS 4.3.4 because as of right now, that's what we're going to use Red Snow to trick um, iOS 4.3.4. You need 4.3.5 obviously to install it on your iDevice and we're going to use 4.3.4 to jailbreak it. Uh, you can download Red Snow version 0.9.8 beta 4 for Windows or Mac and you're going to need the latest iTunes. Uh, so yeah. So with that, once you download it, you're, um, you can also get, uh, this is also another website with iOS 4.3.4 with certain devices here. Now I want you to keep in mind now, this jailbreak is only limited to certain devices. Uh, it is not uh, currently available. You can read about, the, there's a one about the iOS 4.3.5 jailbreak for iPad 2, but this one is specifically for iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 4G, and 3G, and I believe the iPad 1. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and minimize here. I have Red Snow already uh, downloaded. Once you download it, you probably want to move your Red Snow folder to your desktop along with your iOS 4.3.4 IPSW that you've downloaded. Um, and uh, just this will just make everything easier. You obviously want to unzip Red Snow as well. So I'm going to go ahead and browse for the IPSW. Now, if you downloaded 4.3.4 locally via iTunes, to access it, you want to go through... You want to go to your my computer, your so your C driver, your whatever your main drive is, users, your username, roaming or app data I should say, roaming, Apple computer, iTunes, and then iPhone software updates or if it's an iPod, iPod software updates uh, for iPod touches, and then you'll find the ones that are locally downloaded through iTunes. There, if you downloaded it yourself, you can put it on the desktop like I did. So I'm gonna go ahead and browse, click desktop, and look for that IPSW right there. Let it process the firmware. And it should say uh, that's successfully identified. And you hit next. It's going to do its little thing preparing the uh, jailbreak data. With that, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get ready to turn the phone off here because your phone does need to be powered off and plugged in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it plugged in right now. Oh, okay. So actually, first, let's choose what you need. So for right now, you really just want to install Cydia. If you want to do everything else, you can do that. When you Once you install Cydia and it's a tether jailbreak, to boot back into it if you ever... Uh, your phone ever dies, you're going to want to use this option right here, just boot tethered right now. Alright, so I'm going to say install Cydia. Alright, again, both turned off and plugged in, that's what you want to make sure your uh, device is, so I'm going to be plugging in the sync cable right now, uh, and you'll hear it charge there. I'm going to go ahead and slide to power off, and wait for that, and if you've ever done any jailbreaking, you know this step, this step is basically the one where you want to go into what they call DFU mode. Uh, so once the... Okay, so first you want to hold down the power button, and then continue by holding the home button while holding the power button. This should cause the phone to shut off again. And with that, let go of the power button and just hold the home button down as it goes into a DFU mode. And with that, it's going to tell you uh, waiting for iPhone 4 or whatever your device is, exploding with Lime Rain. Well, at this point, you basically just sit back, let it upload its first stage, let it do its reboot. And you will have Cydia, and it'll be jailbroken. Now, don't be aware your screen will be doing some things here. You don't want to unplug the device at this point. Just let it do its thing. Um, just you know, let it sit there. Now, if you ever mess up in DFU mode, keep in mind you can go back and do it again. As in this video, I had to edit this because I actually messed up the first time. So, um, yeah, with that, it's going to upload the RAM disk. We're just going to let it sit here. 
Now, if you ever have any issues with Red Snow on, let's say, Vista or 7, whatever you're using, try running in compatibility mode. This does help out here, and you can see the phone is kind of doing its thing right now. It's jailbreaking, see all the text flying across the screen. Um, you can run it by right-clicking and running as administrator. That tends to help out. And again, keep in mind this jailbreak is tethered. If you, uh, So you can see here, even if you've applied the jailbreak, you must now rerun Red Snow and boot tethered. So I'm going to have to rerun it right after this and boot it up tethered to actually get into the iPhone here. So this means in order to use any of your jailbroken programs and or tweaks, you're going to need to have it boot into tethered uh, every time you uh, want to open the use the device like that. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and let this sit here, and we'll jump back once I can boot this tethered. So now you'll see here... Now you'll see here on screen now that the phone won't boot up normally when it's like this because it's not, or if you boot up, you won't be able to use your jailbroken programs or any tweaks. So uh, you want to boot it into tethered. So to use your jailbroken tweaks, programs, etc., like Cydia, uh, you're going to want to redo, uh, open up Red Snow and hit this option, just boot tethered. So I'm going to hit that. And again, we're just going to repeat the steps here, holding down the button here and then holding down the home button and letting it do its shut off and then again we're going to we're going to be going into dfu mode one more time and you'll notice the phone will run its uh it'll run again uh the uh not what will look like the jailbreak but really it'll just be booting up into a tethered state so it's gonna wait here and say it's gonna exploit with lime rain and with that guys that is pretty much about it that's all you need to do and uh you'll be able to boot up now keep in mind again you probably want to keep your phone charged whenever even if you're not using it that way you don't have to constantly kind of boot into tethered mode. That way you want your phone won't constantly die. So if you're a person who usually keeps your phone charged 100% plus throughout the day, then you should be fine. You'll see the pineapple logo and it'll take a second and you will boot into iOS, allowing you to use your jailbroken apps, tweaks, etc. With that, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. For more content, head over to digitaldojos.com. Check out our past videos. And of that, of course, guys, to subscribe. Subscribe, comment with your feedback, and thumbs up on the video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you guys in our next video.